Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. Oh, it's Lori. And tonight I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Just got home from work. And in my bicycling cup, I have lemon pound cake Tazo tea. Oh, it is divine. It's so delicious. It's a little hot though. We'll let it cool. I have some hot tea. I have a Dollar Tree haul. And then I just got in one of my shipments of my Lane Bryant clothes. I'm so excited. I'm getting close to having spent the money and getting ready to document how I spent it and how much money I saved. So, first things first, it's a Valentine heart and I'm not gonna lie, I love the gold side as much as the red. I thought I would just stick it on my sofa after I take off the 50 tags. But this is nice, it's that the nice one like they had at Christmas and this is a decent quality. And I'm wondering if I couldn't cut some of this apart and use this met or this um, mermaid sequins for something else. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. I don't know how well this stuff cuts without falling apart. So there's a thought. So I grabbed that just because. And then I ran it across one of these. It is Pet Zone microfiber bowl and it comes in those prints i don't know if you can see that oh here we go the dog um some kind of geometric in this plaid i didn't need dogs even though i have a dog and petzo doesn't look like it's a dollar tree brand has some grippies on the back um, when luna comes we put her water in front of my fireplace and I think this would be good to absorb any food and water when she is here the boys food is over there on a rug but I like this. Also, what I thought would be great for this is plants. If you have any plants that might spill, you could set them on something like this and super absorb it. It feels like a dish drying rack. I'm assuming it's washable as well. So I picked up one of those. The so last time I was in, they only had ones that had dogs and said woof. And I said, oh, I have cats, people. Hi, ducks. What you doing? Yeah. Here's Doverstein. Oh, and Alex, too. I haven't fed them yet, so they're not happy with me. Just when you hungry, are you hungry for your dinner? <laughs> so you sit here with me and then I'll feed you, okay? Receipts. Um, oh, and I also found, I'm super excited to try these. I've never used these before. They're artist quality metallic pencils, and it's a six pack. And they, I know they used to come in a box and they had like the charcoals and then they had colored pencils and then they have these metallics. Let me know down below if you would be interested in like a stationary haul to see how all the pens and pencils and color pencils and markers write. I don't have any issue doing that because I have a small problem. But I picked up these because I thought they would be super fun in the metallic colors. And that's a color I don't tend to have a lot of. And then I found this gem. Look at those lemons. I'm putting this in my kitchen window for sure for summer. It says, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. And this will match my kitchen perfectly. So I'm excited for that. I should just put this stuff back, right? Isn't that how you keep your house organized? You saw my house. It's, well, my living room is tidy now. But it's only Wednesday, so a lot can happen between now and Sunday when I'm ready to clean. Then I stopped in tonight. I needed to pick up a couple things. Um, another receipt. I found this jasmine. I need to do some research about burning incense with the cats. But um, it comes with a wooden incense burner. It just sticks straight up in the middle. And this is jasmine. It smells really good. I would love to burn some of this, like in the spring or summer or in the cat litter room every once in a while, but I need to research first. Um, I don't want to make my babies ill, but I grab that. If, they, if it doesn't sound like it's good for them, then I will give that away. I picked up two more of these socks. Um, some of my co-workers wanted to come over and make some Easter gnomes with me. So I grabbed a two-pack. So 
two more so that I'll have six of these so that'll be plenty to make the gnome hats and then I'll pre cut them or pre sew them before everybody gets to my house and I'll video because I need to make one first before hi buddy make hi make one before I have them over because I want to have all the pieces pre-cut some of them are crafters some are not but I thought if I just had all the pieces pre-cut out and we just had to assemble that that would be fun for everybody so I grabbed those because um duh look at them oopsies I sorry Alex he's a little jumpy tonight I'm not sure how these work if anybody's tried them if you can't tell I'm super waiting for spring um house plant spikes I have fertilizer that I pour in to water, but I wasn't sure how this brand works. So I'm gonna do some research on this, but if you've ever used them and they work for you, um, this year it shouldn't be such a big deal because I think I'm transplanting everything into new soil and new pots. Um, yeah, and I have a couple big tree, this one big tree, it's a dragon tree, Dracaena, Dr Dracaena, something or other, but it needs to be pruned back. It's growing out of control and all weird shaped. So you can come along with me while I chop it apart. But I got some of those for house plants. I found the, what's it called? Let me find the front. These are called flower rockets, just plant and water. And I grabbed the butterfly and hummingbird mix I thought how pretty and how fun that would be and then I got the zinnia zinnia mix I feel like these are hardy it might grow well and then the other one they had I can't remember it was like a purple or a blue box I grabbed two um just to see I don't know these are just zinnias it says over 500 seeds it's a new never-ending bouquet, continuous blooming all summer long, great for indoors. Should we open it and see what's inside? It's... Well, this certainly looks nothing like what he's got or she has in their hand back there, but um, no no direction, so they must be on the box. So anyway, we're gonna try to plant these this summer out front in a pot and see how they do. They were a dollar, I'm not mad if they don't pot or seed. And then I grabbed these, look at this color guys. Almost looks like Tiffany blue to me. I grabbed two, part of my repotting. I have some smaller plants that need to be put into a, small, a little bigger pot and these are great. Um, you can on the bottoms and I will take a screwdriver and pop out drainage holes and then I put rocks in the bottom and then dirt and I sit them in trays that I oh threw across the room sit them in trays to catch the water but it's better to drain the water through so the roots aren't sitting and I buy these six pack of Dollar Tree plastic trays that these sit in and I put them in my window in the summer so I grabbed two of those I just like that color and then last couple things I got two of the oops sorry Deb two of these for um for the rocket flowers fill them with dirt put these in and we'll see what happens this summer obviously we're nowhere near planting time but I really wanted these specific pots for my front yard and you know if you don't grab what you want they'll go away and I thought these were just totally adorable I'll leave these in their little box along with my plant food. The last couple things I picked up, I know that I said I didn't need any more notebooks, but come on guys, look at this. Look at the foil. I think there's probably, yeah, 50 sheets in here. It's got the spiral. Oh, it, this just makes me happy. So I grabbed this notebook. I'm going to go through all the notebooks I have and bring them to work, the ones I don't care for. But these, oh, look at that. Just look at the gold foil. And then they had one, I can't remember what it says, but it was teal and gold and it was pretty. But I was like, I only need one. So I grabbed that. Oh, that'll look good with my metallic colored pencils. Hi, baby. 
Let me put my foot here. Thank you. Then I found these blind bags. And I don't buy a lot of blind bags because, well, but look who's on the front. That's Tom Brady. Now, what are the chances that I will get another Tom Brady? I have one already that I lucked out and was at Target a couple years ago. They had some that kids had opened after Christmas and there was a Tom Brady laying right there. And I said, oh, I, I'm going to need you. But let's see who we get. And I probably, unless it's somebody I know, will have no, no idea who they are. How do I open these things? I might need scissors. I don't, I don't have. Oh, they tell me on the back who they are. Perfect. All right, one second. I got to get scissors. I'm back. All right, with scissors. I might have a small obsession with scissors as well. I have them all over my house, which is good. Okay, in the package we get, and this is series one, so I don't even know if these people are quarterbacks anymore. Uh, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, Andrew Luck, blah, blah. It says on here who you can get. So let's see who we got. We got a, oh, we got, oh, guys, guess who I got? Zeke Elliott. He's an ex-Buckeye player that went to the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, he is. I got a Zeke Elliott. That's so exciting. Let me stand him up here. Is he on backwards? Uh, oh, let me turn his head around the right direction. Yeah. Oh, oh God, I broke his arm off. Oh, he's broken. Surgery. Ooh, ooh. I used to do this to Tom Brady all the time too, but he is going to sit up there and he comes with a little tiny football. I lost that. Oh, you cannot have that, sir. So we got a little Zeke Elliott, which makes me super happy because he's an ex Buckeye and I love the Buckeyes. So we'll stop playing with him for a second and see who is in the second bag. I mean, I don't know that my luck will run out. That it'll be somebody I know, but who knows? Who knows who I'm going to get here? Another paper. And I got another Zeke Elliott. That is funny. Well, at least I knew who he was. Oh, this one comes with a different helmet. Same thing. Another Zeke Elliott. That's fine. I'll give him to somebody else. I will pass little Zeke Elliott along. But I thought these were fun. And if you have a young fella in your life who enjoys um, blind bags, these little NFL ones are fun. Like I said, this is series one. I'm assuming there's multiple series out there. We just don't have multiple series here. Oh, here we go. I knew I was missing a part to so Zeke's helmet the little cage that goes on the front. All right, so that was fun and that is everything. And if you like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.